Hi guys, I hope that you're very well. It's Silvana here and I am back for a new video on the Jewish Indians YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today let's talk about not just any diamond, but Herkimer diamond. Yes, um, we'll talk about everything there is for you to know about the beautiful Herkimer diamond. What does it mean? What does it represent? What are its properties? How can you use it? Everything there is for you to know about it you will know by the end of this video and on top of that you'll also know the zodiac sign associated with Herkimer diamond as well as the chakra healing side of things as we always do on this channel we always cover all those elements so yeah let's get started i'm going to show you first some pieces i have here with Herkimer diamond just so in case you guys have a bit of an idea how it looks what to expect and in case you have some yourself at home but you're not sure if that's what it is uh, hopefully this will help you a little bit uh, along the way too so let me show you i'm going to start with this guy here so here you have a pendant with Herkimer diamond so you can see what you will find a lot with Herkimer diamond is that um it's gonna be tricky to find a piece that's gonna be completely transparent uh, and if you do find one that's very transparent usually it can tend to be considered high grade which means high price um Herkimer diamond just to be clear I want to say that first before I say anything else guys Herkimer diamonds are not actual diamonds just to be clear they are a natural pure form of double terminated quartz that come from the region of Herkimer County in New York and uh, also the Mohawk River Valley in the USA. So you can see that it usually, I'm going to show you a different one, uh, it tends to have a bit of a natural, completely natural, double terminated ends, you know, and sometimes you will find different shapes, like as you can see here, this one looks different, but all the polishing and, the, you know, the, the shapes and everything, this is how it forms. And it's, I suppose that's how it's called because it would be considered a very valuable high level clear quartz, hence the name diamond rather than just quartz. It's supposed to be a little bit higher, higher grade. Uh, it's more sought after, it's more unusual, it's more difficult to find. And that's just the name that came with it uh, as it went along. And obviously Herkimer, as the region suggests, where it comes from, where it was found. Um, on top of that, Herkimer diamonds tend to be uh, one of the most powerful types of clear quartz in the crystal healing world and would be considered a symbol of purity, of peacefulness, of light energy. Uh, and uh, the good thing is, let's go straight into the chakras, it works for every chakra. It literally stimulates them all, which is wonderful and great because it helps to balance them all out nicely. And uh, if you are into Kundalini Yoga like myself, you will also probably be pleased to hear that uh, it's a perfect crystal to really help um, raise the Kundalini energy. And on top of that, I'm going to show you a different piece just so you can guys have an idea. Here you can see I have another pendant and you can see how the shape is at the bottom. This is literally how it forms. You see, I'm going to show you here like that. This is a nice piece of her Kimmer diamond here. You can see the, how it's faceted and how it goes like a little bit like a point. This is how it forms. And you can see this one here has a little bit more have like um, inclusions inside, which is completely normal. For her Kimmer diamonds to have black inclusions inside um, this is just how it forms it's absolutely normal and you will see then that some will have more or less of it it's going to depend and sometimes that can also make the her Kimmer diamonds darker or lighter in color but that's that's just part of the process that's how it works and um, you know, thanks to that double double terminated structure that it has, which is natural, it's said that it can transmit its own energy, uh, but it can also receive because obviously one end is going to 
transfer energy. That's why crystal points are very popular for that, about transmitting energy, but also receiving on the other end. It works both ways, uh, which really, really work on helping amplifying and focusing uh, that energy. And uh, it's definitely not a crystal I would recommend for, for pets or children because i get a lot asked you know what are my go-to crystals for pets or for kids this one for me is more so for someone a little bit older uh someone uh, that is ready to i suppose receive and open themselves to uh to a higher level of, of energy and consciousness and uh and more so of that spiritual realm if that makes sense that makes it a great crystal for reiki if you do reiki as well um you know as i do you'll probably be aware that you know with attunements and everything uh this is a great crystal to work with uh because it's going to really you know help to intensify that beautiful energy and um you know it's great it's great in all those areas you know i would definitely say as well that um you know it can align energy and that's why you can see why it works very well for for reiki for instance you know uh not just balancing those chakras opening spiritual awareness uh but just elevating that state of of being and just promoting general harmony and and balance uh which is exactly what you want from any any type of energy healing work such as reiki uh so yeah definitely i would say uh i would recommend definitely to any anyone there that's interested in her kimura diamond to try to wear it as in jewelry more so than loose because loose loose her kimura sometimes can be very very small it can come in different sizes smaller bigger it's very rare to find i i I feel, I notice from experience, like larger pieces of her Kimura diamond that would not be set in jewelry. It's it's fine too. It's very quite hard to find. You know, usually you will find things more so pieces like this that would be in jewelry form. But it's perfect to be honest because it's really about elevating that state of mind. So uh, you know that sense of attunement, consciousness, and everything in between. So really about embracing as well that sense, that deep energy of abundance and uh, rather than focusing on what's missing it's inviting you to focus on what's already out there around you and that beautiful beautiful energy that comes with it um, you know will definitely transform everything the way you think your beliefs your your think your your thought process your mindset and uh, you know definitely a great crystal for anyone out there that's just into um, you know really learning and improving and growing into their their um their manifestation work and um, you know anything related to uh, prosperity and abundance really you know so um like that would be that would be it it's a great purifying crystal in general just like clear quartz you will notice that these the two you know hold those similarities uh you know like that sense of uh, that clear quartz has that uh, that electromagnetic energy that um, is perfect to re um, eliminate any negative and ions and energies uh, but at the same time to transform it and allow it to become more positive uh, you know and that's great not just energetically speaking but also in terms of you know like your own energy field like you know uh, those negative emotions, the types of stress you may experience, anxiety, uh, or any of those um, negative feelings, really. And uh, yeah, that, that for that sole reason, I personally believe it's great crystal just for anyone that's kind of uh, learning into spirituality and they're just getting started. But also, if you are a spiritual teacher, if you are teaching any type of practice that would be considered spiritual or alternative therapies if you're a therapist that works for example i've mentioned reiki but there's so many more that can also work this was just the first thing that came to my mind um but yeah because you know it's all about those those areas um you know that's what it, it stands for that's what it represents that's what it's you know it's associated with and um 
last but not least, because I get this question a lot, <laughs> so I might as well address it here and now. This, guys, is a great crystal if you are trying to evolve uh, and, you know, improve your journey into anything related to out-of-body experiences, dream recall, and lucid dreaming. It's supposed to, her Kimmer diamonds are said to help with that journey. So uh, for anyone out there that I know that's into this, that's, you know, started their journey or they're just trying to get to the next step, try her Kimmer diamond and see how that goes for you and let me know. And uh, again, as we talked about attunement, we also have to talk about meditation because this is also a great crystal. Obviously, to meditate, it's going to really work on balancing out all the chakras, not just the crown chakra. So that's wonderful. And if I was to give you guys an idea of a mantra, uh, an intention or an affirmation that you guys can work with while you are working with uh, your beautiful Herkimer diamond, uh, it will be something along the lines as I align and vibrate with the purest light and easily manifest my desires. That is literally her Kimmer Diamond in a nutshell. <laughs> so yeah, last point but not least before we're finished, it is to talk about obviously um, the zodiac signs associated with it. Well, and of course, we can also mention that this is also another uh, alternative as a birthstone, uh, another alternative to uh, diamonds, because as I said to my previous video about uh, April's birthstone on this channel here, uh, I don't tend to talk about diamonds as much because, first of all, uh, as much as diamonds are very interesting and beautiful, this is not something everybody necessarily can afford. And I'm conscientious of that. And for that reason, I would rather go for an alternative that I know more people can go for and uh, still be able to, um, you know, enjoy um, having and wearing uh, their own birthstone, really. So I personally tend to recommend uh, her Kimmer Diamond or Clear Quartz. Uh, if you can't, of course, go for um, the diamond. So that means it can work for April as a birthstone. But on top of that, it also works for specific zodiac signs. Um, you know, I'm actually going to rephrase that. It does not work for specific zodiac signs. It's going to show more of its benefits for those signs. That's what zodiac stones are about because everyone can really go for any of those crystals. There's no such thing as bad choices or bad combinations. But what there is, is there will be certain crystals that will be particularly powerful for particular star signs. So for Herkimer diamonds, that would be obviously Aries, which is the reason why we're talking about it today, right during this time of Aries season. Um, which is so exciting, it's so beautiful. I hope everyone, by the way, is having a great area season. And on top of that, you can also go for it uh, for Sagittarius. Sagittarian energy really works nicely, very well with her Kimmer Diamonds. But again, guys, this is not just for your sun sign. I want to be clear because I get also this question all the time. Uh, so, you know, does it work if my moon is in Aries or if my sun is in Aries or my rising is in Aries? It works regardless of if it's one of those three, it would work for you. Of course, if it's your sun sign, it might be even more impactful or for example, your rising sign as well. Uh, but that's, you know, if you have, Aries, Sagittarius energy in your chart, it will it will still be fine. You know, there's no, you know, it's not as blunt as and strict as uh, as you may think. So yeah, that would be it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, video about the beautiful Herkimer diamond. You can find some pieces on our website, Jews and Gems Shop, in case you're interested. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Is it the stone that you'll have your eyes in on now or you have it already maybe? Just to let you know, in case I get asked, there's not much left on the website because it's a, it's quite a difficult find. Uh, it's not an easy one necessarily to source because obviously, uh, you know, you need 
to go through, um, well, I suppose, a, you know, a long process of, of being able to see if it's available. You know, there's, there's not much out of it out there as it is anyway. And, uh, you know, that can also impact the prices too. But, uh, you know, have a look, see what you think. Keep an eye. If you don't see what you like, it might come at some stage. Be patient with us. <laughs> We're doing our best for you guys. And uh, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I uh, make sure that you also give this video a big thumbs up before I forget because I always forget to say those things yet <laughs> it's important because you know if you show me your support guys it tells me that you are enjoying this content and gives me an idea of what to do next for you anyway uh, apart from that thank you so 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 much guys for watching I wish you all a beautiful day and uh, I will be talking to you soon see you guys